But anyways, can I say it, man? Damn it, let's toast. I ain't gotta brag, ain't gotta boast. I ain't made it yet, but damn it, I'm close. And everybody knows I'm going the most. Except no imitations. I'm inspiration. I'm elevation. I'm elevated, fuck it, I can touch the sky Riding this escalator, way to reach my destination Never hesitating, even when them haters keep on hating I'm the life of the party No tailgating, drink that Bacardi We fucking celebrating, no limitations I gotta go all the way, and this time I've been paving my own way Letting no one hold me back I'll talk behind my back And let's make it toast to never going broke That's a fact It's my life I gotta make the best out of that Inspired by the fire in my eyes I light up the night Alright y'all, here we go Here's the car What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sky Life Projects. Hope everybody's doing good and staying blessed. Today is Saturday. I'm over here at Black Market Racing, and we got a whole bunch of Type Rs to show you here. I'm also gonna be putting my car on the dyno, see what numbers it gets with the few bolt-on mods that I have before that tune. So, without further ado, if you guys could please like and please subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Also hit that notification bell so you always be alerted for future uploads like this. Let's show the Type R, mine first. All right. Also wanted to point out it is lowered now on H&R Springs. Give it a nice about 0.8 inch drop front and rear. Type R here. This is my home and Tazes. It's got the RS3s on there. I believe it's a little bit high box. Another Type R right here. Okay. Another one. These are all white. This is it. Nice wheels. Clearance. Everybody's over at the dyno right now, so got the PRL intake, PRL inlet, HVI, blitz strut bar just like mine, Mishimoto in the back. Right? Got another guy doing a video here. What's up, man? And then another type bar again, white. It's Ace Motorsports. Okay. Here at Black Market Racing in Phoenix AZ. 
There's more Type R's pulling up. We're literally just getting started here. Um, I'll have somebody do the video when my car's on the dyno, and then uh, we'll go from there. So catch you guys in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, y'all. Type R is going on the dyno. Yes, sir. You want to say what's up to the camera, man? What's up? What up? What's your name, bro? Jerry. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Santan Valley. Nice. <laughs> Way out okay. in Egypt, built. <laughs> you got a Type R too? Yeah, I got a Type R. We tuned it right there. Uh, the blue one? No. Oh. Uh, it's behind the one right there. <laughs> it's over there, you guys. Yeah, we did. Uh, 333 was the top number. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Full bolt-ons tuned via. Uh, drama tune so did pretty awesome. good i didn't what, let it where are we down. at right now <laughs> right now we're where it's it should be all done tuned as far as what we can do we're gonna tweak some numbers on here but i think we'll probably do it another time but did pretty good cool bro yeah not bad all I right like man it. thanks for being in the video man appreciate you got it. it thank you all right guys so type r is going on the dyno as you know all i have is the hks front mount intercooler the hks liga max exhaust the prl hvi um you know the lowering springs with strut bar not too many power mods going on mission mode oil catch fan but yeah anyways we're gonna see how it does you guys don't go anywhere we'll be right back this is skylight projects much love and blessings all right y'all car is about to run i am behind the glass there is your graph up there, and then here, <laughs> and then here is the numbers board is what we call it, the screen. So, alright, getting everything ready. Alright y'all, here we go. Here's the car. So you guys are probably wondering what exactly happened. What was the sound you heard? Did I blow the engine? Did I blow the turbo? Did I blow some kind of internal? What happened, right, Jay? Well, I'm going to show you and tell you exactly what happened. So a little background before Dino Day, right? So remember that Pine AZ video coming back from the Pine AZ road trip? It wasn't on film, but I feel I need to be honest here. In sixth gear, I dropped to fifth going down, you know, the 87, the switchbacks, the twisties, whatever you want to call it. I dropped it to fifth gear. I boosted around 42 to 4,400 RPMs, and then all of a sudden, pop. The right side intercooler HKS pipe disconnected from the silicone coupler. Therefore, my car went into limp mode, went into a safe mode, had Christmas lights all over the fucking dash, you know? I mean, it literally looked like a Christmas tree. I didn't have access to anything. I had to pull over on the side of the road. 
op- obviously open the hood, definitely identify the problem right away, you know? And <laughs> I had to drive back, you guys, from Pine AZ on the 87, okay? Going to Phoenix, Arizona in limp mode. Therefore, the car goes into a specific safe mode to make sure you don't blow your engine, to make sure you don't blow your turbo, to make sure you don't blow any internals, you know, out the fucking hood, basically, right? So, the story continues. I'm like, okay, cool. I take it over to Dino Comp in Scottsdale AZ and they check, verify everything to make sure it's all good to go. Everything's tightened. New clamps, securely fastened, tightened on there. Didn't go anywhere, right? So just yesterday, which was Saturday, before Dino Day, I literally boosted the car to check the IATs before obviously going on the dyno, right? So I'm in R plus mode, no issues. I did four pulls, not one issue. Everything was a green light. It was good to go. Obviously no inner core piping was busting off. It wasn't nothing happening, right? So I get up into dyno day at, um, what was it called? Um, the black car racing. I'm not sure if I said that right, but basically that's where they were doing the dino day, right? That my homie Zach was hosting and everything. He's a good guy, by the way. Also, so is Darren. So shout out to both of those two and also Taz. But anyways, let me get back to the story. I had no issues testing the car getting up into the dyno day right where all the civic type bars that you guys seen in the videos are going on the dynos so when it's my turn my car goes on the dyno and within the first pull what you guys saw on video literally happened not the hot side this time but the cold side pop unbelievable just it just the inner core piping on the cold side now disconnected from the hks silicone rubber coupler right therefore again my car went into limp mode again my car went into a safe mode it recognized it was on the dyno and then i have all the christmas tree lights back up on the dash you know these cars are very sensitive but I'm thankful that I had Darren there. So shout out to Darren. He is an amazing person. He is very approachable. He's very down to earth. And he, he is nothing but helpful. Okay. Shout out to Zach also who was there. Who assisted me with you guys saw the HKS front mount intercooler install video. So that's another good guy. Without them there. I don't know what I would have done. Let me explain that part. So over here at Black Car Racing, still not even sure if I'm saying that correctly. I'll edit in the in the video here. But without them there, I'm literally shaking talking about this. I don't know what I would have done because I didn't have access to a lift and it was a shop. They were not open. All they were doing was running dynos. They obviously knew the issue they didn't do anything to really correct the issue except give me a jack a couple jack stands and a couple of tools here and there couldn't use the lift though and here my car is sitting in limp mode off the dyno because of the hks intercore piping flaws it, it was installed properly because dyno comp overlooked everything checked all connections they did three runs afterwards right not one not two but three and there was no issues but then when it gets on the dyno first pull it just blows off on the cold side the hot side was before and pine az coming back 
and now the cold side so you're probably like okay jay what are you doing to correct the issue well i have now ordered the prl charge pipe kit and what we're gonna do is remove let me show you the hks piping intercooler kit and we're going to be replacing it right there's the hks right down there with the prl charge pipe kit it's going to take some custom sanding and everything like that to get it done so that the hot side can meet the exact diameter of what the PRL charge pipe kit is offering. Has it been done? Yes, it has been done. And it's been nothing but flying colors for that individual who did it. So shout out to him on the forums. And you guys pray, right? Pray that everything is smooth sailing from here. Because I don't know about you, but I'm tired of having this exact same inner core issue. So it's not one times, it's not two, but it's three times now that this issue has occurred. Car going into limp mode, car going into safe mode, Christmas lights on the dash. I'm tired of it. So when I'm back, we're gonna put this car back on the dyno, right? We're gonna put this little baby back on the dyno and we're gonna see what true numbers it runs before a tune. Then after a tune, I'm gonna run it again. But the difference is we won't have any of these inner core problems. Still keeping the HKS front mount, I'm just going a different direction with the piping and sticking with PRL as my IATs will be a lot cooler. They'll be a lot more solid. They won't be fluctuating because the HKS, I don't recommend it because it's metal. We're talking about silicone now for the PRL. So stay tuned. There's a lot more coming up with this and I can't wait to show you guys the final results when actually the car can run securely and safely on the fucking dyno. Much love and blessings. Until next time, this is Sky Life Projects. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you always be alerted for future uploads like this. Later, guys. Carpet rolls out, royalties in my team. Only things we talk about money coming in faster than it's ever been. Like Cali, all we do is win. Posted in the valley, cash moves everything around me. Like a money pull, you see me drowning. System in the trunk, bump pitches like the way it be sounded. Fill my cup up for the